This episode of Adrian Foreen wants to spend a night in a hotel room is going to be a little bit different than the episodes that I normally do. Normally, I show you the outside of the hotel. This hotel is vacant. They definitely have a vacancy. The inside of the room, including anything that's wrong with it, Burning hot's right here. Ice cold's right there. And then the next morning, I check out of the hotel, leaving the room very clean and leaving a tip for the maid. We are now checking out. As you can see, the room is clean. A little bit of coffee spilled on the towel, but that was because the coffee maker overflowed. And I usually don't complain to the hotel staff about anything that's wrong with the room. This is the first episode of Adrian Florian Wants to Spend a Night in the Hotel Room, where I actually didn't get to spend a night in the hotel room that I intended to stay in. Watch this video to find out why. Oh boy, I've got a situation. I've got a doctor's appointment with a specialist in about eight hours. It's 2.24 a.m. and my appointment is 10.30 a.m. but it's got a 10 a.m. check-in time. <laughs> Don't grab my phone. <sighs> the problem is that I just figured out that my appointment is two hours further south than I thought it was. So my original plan was to wake up at 6 a.m., leave at 7 a.m., and get there at 10 a.m. to fill out the paperwork for my 10.30 a.m. appointment. However, since my appointment is two hours further south than I originally thought it was, I'm going to have to leave at 5 a.m., which is two and a half hours from now. And I've been up all day, and I haven't slept. So these are my options if I have to spend the night there. These are the two closest hotels to the doctor's office. There's the Flamingo Resort Hotel and the Hillside Inn. Here's a picture of a room at the Hillside Inn. See that? That's a kitchenette. There's a little cook stove. You have to pay $4 extra for dishes if you don't bring your own dishes. And as you can see in that picture, there's an old-fashioned curved screen TV. And that is... $99 a night. Across the street, there's another hotel, which is normally $125 a night, but they're having a special for $99 a night also. This hotel does not have a kitchenette in the rooms. It doesn't even have microwave ovens in the room. I don't use microwaves anyway, but I called them on the phone to ask if they had microwave ovens in the room. They said no. They said they have room service that can deliver you food, and if you want a microwave oven, they can deliver one to your room for $5. But they have flat screen TVs in all of their rooms. So I have the choice between two rooms, both for $99. Gosh, these flashing pictures are annoying. I'm going to close this tab. One with an old-fashioned curved screen TV, but with a kitchenette in the room, and that hotel charges you $4 for the dishes. Or I could get a much more modern looking room, which may be larger, at a hotel which is literally right next door. But it doesn't have any way to cook food in the room. All they have available is microwaves, but they're gonna charge me $5 to bring a microwave. So it's like $99 for a kitchen, plus $4 for dishes, or $99 for no kitchen, plus $5 if you even want a microwave. 
But since both hotels are right next to each other, and they both have their own restaurants, and there are restaurants in between them, I don't really need that kitchen, but I might want that kitchen because after I go to my doctor's appointment, I'm also going to a dentist appointment and I might have fillings, so I might not be able to eat right away. So I might not want to eat until much later on that night or early in the morning when restaurants might be closed. So I might want a kitchen or I might buy some food and not be able to eat it. So I might want to reheat it later, not in a $5 microwave, but in my $4 kitchen. So I think I'm going to reserve a room at the Hillside Inn, which is the one with the kitchens. <laughs> Here you go. Here are my driving directions. It says three hours and 52 minutes or four hours and 55 minutes, depending on the route that you take. So I'm going to give myself five hours to get there. I should give myself more, but I'm going to give myself five hours because I have to leave at five in the morning to give myself five hours and it's 2.43 a.m. And Eugene just fell asleep, and honestly, now that he's asleep, I'm gonna turn off that really annoying toy. Well, I just sent a reservation request to the Hillside Inn. There it is, the Hillside Inn. Oh, and there's the map. There's the Hillside Inn. There's the Flamingo Inn. As you can see, it's much larger. There's one restaurant, another restaurant. There's a restaurant in here at the Flamingo Resort and Spa. There's a restaurant here. As you can see, it says kitchenette rooms at a family-run cafe. And this here, there's some kind of water tanks. I looked it up. I didn't want to stay in a hotel next to giant gas tanks, so I looked it up. And I was able to determine that they were water tanks. So that is where I'll be staying. These are the closest two hotels to both my doctor and dentist offices. It's 4.53 a.m. and I'm getting ready to leave right now. First, I'm going to grab my jackets. I'm driving to Santa Rosa, California to go to a pulmonologist for a breathing test. And after I go to the pulmonologist, I'm going to the dentist. I've got numerous cavities and stains on my teeth. And I couldn't find a dentist in Humboldt County that could see me within months. So I'm driving to Santa Rosa all by myself in my shaky car. And I am tired. I'm in the office now. And I did not realize that I'd be breathing in, breathing out, holding my breath, blowing out hard, getting lightheaded and then having this machine behind me tell me I have to do it all again because it didn't get a good reading. And that's what's happening. So it's 12.05 and I'm waiting for the doctor in his office. It's 12.09. Actually now it's 12.10 and I'm getting a little bit irritated, actually more than a little bit irritated. Let's see, my appointment was at 10.30. They told me it would be a breathing test that would take about an hour and a half. The breathing test only took minutes. And I waited for an hour in the waiting room after I was told that I'd only be waiting for a few minutes. Then I was told to come back here and wait a few minutes. Well, it's been more than a few minutes. I'm really tired. I'm really hungry. And I'm getting very, very, very impatient. This doctor is going to have an impatient patient. It is now 12.12, 12, and I'm getting, getting very upset. I was hoping to have food and a nap before my dentist appointment at 3, but now I'm thinking I'm not even going to make it to the hotel. I mean, how long are they going to keep me waiting here? I'm at the Thai Taste Restaurant in Santa Rosa, California, and I just got to see Sarah Palin's endorsement of Donald Trump on the news, on that flat screen TV right over there. I just did a two hour, what was supposed to be a two hour breathing test, but it was actually a two hour wait in the office for a five minute breathing test. I'm now gonna have a chest x-ray, a test on my heart. I'm going to the dentist in two hours. And for those of you who don't know, a dentist did this to me.
in a freak accident or a case of medical malpractice or maybe you, it was a little bit of both when I was like 17 or 18. So I'm terrified of dentists. So I'm having some soup. And this will probably be my last meal of the day. Across the street, there's a hotel with kitchens in the rooms, and I have a reservation there. I'll be cooking my dinner around 3 or 4 in the morning when Novocaine wears off. After they do fillings in at least two teeth, possibly more. I think I've got at least 10 cavities. I'm not looking forward to this dentist trip. I'm at the Hillside Inn in Santa Rosa, California. Apparently, this is where I'm going to stay tonight. I made a reservation for this hotel. So? So, are you going to honor my reservation or am I going to find another hotel because you're raising your voice at me? That's up to you. Well, if you're going to go at me and make sarcastic noises at me, I will leave. Goodbye. See me on YouTube. Goodbye. Did you see that? Because I'm not going to that hotel. He just got an attitude with me for no reason, and he told me to go to the other hotel that I didn't want to go to because I didn't like. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I can't believe that just happened. I guess I'm not going to this hotel. I guess I will take my credit card and I will go charge it at another hotel because I'm not welcome here. I don't know why, but I'm not welcome here. That was mean. I mean, honestly, I just drove all night with no sleep, had a breathing test where I ended up, you know, having chest pains, and now I have to go to the dentist, and I honestly wanted to check into my hotel and take an hour nap before that dentist. I did not want to drive around trying to get a room and not being able to. I did not want to drive around aimlessly. He told me I'd be happier at the Flamingo. I guess I'll be happier at the Flamingo. I wonder if he works for the Flamingo or something. Ah! Oh, I just wanted a room with a kitchen in it, for God's sake. Ah! Oh, but just because I want to sleep doesn't mean I'm going to deal with somebody making snarky sounds at me. And when he started making snappy, non-human noises at me, rather than speaking, it put me over the edge, man. That's what my boyfriend does to upset me every day. I don't need to be exposed to it elsewhere. Seems like that street is blocked off. I guess I'm going somewhere else. I don't know where, but I'm going somewhere else. So what happened after that? What hotel did I end up staying in that night? Find out on the next episode of Adrian Florine Wants to Spend the Night in a Hotel Room. Should I be concerned? There's nobody here at all whatsoever. They don't need additional parking across the street because this hotel is vacant. They definitely have a vacancy. Hopefully the office isn't vacant. My gosh. Oh. Wow, now it's burning hot. Now it's ice cold. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Burning hot's right here. Ice cold's right there. It doesn't seem like there is an in-between. I've got it lukewarm. I guess that's good enough. I guess I paid a hundred and something dollars for a bunk hotel.